Hey, what's going on today, guys? Hope you're having a great day. This is something of an interesting game. I am playing this with a couple buddies. I actually figured out how to record my own voice. Unfortunately, that's not in this one because I had a little bit of a screw up with a few of the games that I captured last night. Unfor it's unfortunate that this one didn't get captured correctly. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's just because I, I honestly I have no idea. I've ran through a few situations in my mind or scenarios that could result in this, and I think it's just one of those things. You know, I've had a, a few slight errors with the Elgato so far. Nothing too major. But at this point, this is just another kind of a little bit of a setback. I, I don't think it should happen in the future. I hope not. I mean, I don't think there's really anything that I'm doing that's incorrect. So, anyway, let's get to the gameplay. It's very exciting. It's awesome. It's actually, <laughs> well, I at least hope it is. I I do pretty pretty well, I, in my opinion. I'm playing this with, a I think, one other friend that's... I think there are a few other people in the party chat, but only one of them is on my team. I believe uh, I, there could be one more. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's just one. Uh, actually, one of them is going to show up on the other team for some reason. I think it's just because he joined the game, but he's not feeding me kills at all. Uh, in fact, he actually, I think, is one of the reasons I actually end up dying in this game. Um, or at least the first time I die, which I was on a pretty good streak. So let's get into what I'm using real quick. So you can kind of try to judge for yourself and see if that's something that maybe you want to use for one of your gameplays. See if you can get this high of a score, or this high of a kill streak rather. So I'm using the AN94. I'm using Quick Draw and Stock on it. I'm not using it suppressed. I don't really think it's a personal opinion, and it goes from game to game, and it depends on the lobby, I believe. But I think you can get away without using. Or with not using a suppressor. Because the suppressor is, is great, don't get me wrong, but it does affect range. And range can be very important in, in a map. Any map. Even this map, when it's relatively small. Uh, you might not think it, but range really, really matters in some spots. And look at the feed. I'm just lighting up that feed. I'm just, oof. It's, it's nasty. It's nasty. And I'm, I'm pretty... Th right here, actually, I was like, oh my god, dude. I was freaking out because I thought these guys were going to kill me. I was I was pretty sure like uh, I was, my my luck was about to run out is what was going through my mind but uh, fortunately I was able to make it through and I'm actually you just saw that relentless metal pop up or maybe you didn't but it just popped up anyway so that means I'm on a 15 kill streak right here so but let, anyway back into what I'm using sorry guys I, I got a little sidetracked I got a little too excited um, so anyway it's that AN94 I think AN94 probably one of the best guns online. I, I, period and the fact that it's an assault rifle you know the assault rifle in my opinion is the most versatile weapon in the game because there's pretty much not a super bad situation for it for example the SMG is pretty much outclassed at far range at long distances but you're you're pretty much not out, you're not severely outclassed it, it, you know for the most part you know if, if it's very close up and you're against a shotgun well yeah then you know yeah, well, what can you do? It's a shotgun. Yeah, you know, you can't win. You can't win everything. But for most situations in the game, you're going to find that an assault rifle is going to be do you just fine. And, and, and some of the maps, you know, this included, I, I will use an MP7, but I was switching it up yesterday, MP7 and AN94. And let me just, in my roundabout way, let me get back to my um, telling you about my setup here. So I'm, I'm using, my score streaks are the VSAT, the dogs and the swarm and I think this setup is pretty good the basically the goal here was try to get 100 kills unfortunately that did not happen I was cut very very short of that and you're gonna see here in a second why I, I mean I it, it's it's it sucks cuz I'm about to get on my third set of streaks like this is I just called them my second swarm my second set of dogs you know before that my second V set so like it's really it's really good Really good game. I haven't even died yet. Unfortunately, people are quitting out. You know, that's Black Ops 2 for you. I don't know how people don't quit out in some of the games that I've seen with people getting ridiculous scores. I just don't get it, you know. And there's obviously no spawn trapping here. i got to run miles to find people and have that V set up in, in, in any hopes of trying to kill people. So, I think the score streak setup, this is pretty much, uh, by the way, this is pretty much the rest of the setup. 
is just the score streaks because it's a matter of personal preference and it's what you think is is best because honestly i think that the best thing for trying to get kills from what i've seen probably just get um escort drone lodestar and vtol warship but the problem with that is if uh, one you know they can shoot down all of those easily and you can't shoot down a swarm and you can't shoot down a VSAT. And so, but, but by the way, let me, let me, I'll talk about that in a second. But look at this BS right here. So there's a counter UAV up. And yeah, the, I, get sh I was 58-0 until that happened. It's really unfortunate. I don't know. I guess I see, you know, that, that guy heard me because I'm not using a suppressor. So, But still, if had the VSAT been on, I don't think I would have died there, to be honest with you. Because I would have known better. I wouldn't have, I, and I wouldn't have camped there. So anyway, whatever happens but i think the problem with if if i were to run say escort drone load star and vtol is the fact that i don't spawn trap i don't have enough people to spawn trap so those videos that you see with people just getting like 150 kills literally I'll, just with the the vtol and load star or more than 150 just with those score streaks they're they're trapping them they're that's just not, and and obviously the opponent's not doing jack about shooting him down, which um, <laughs> I don't know what kind of lobbies you have to find to get your opponents to not shoot you down. I don't know if you have to pay them or something to do that, but um, what it boils down to is it's just it's just not feasible for me. I don't think I'll I'll try. It. I'm definitely gonna go for it. You know, using that escort drone, Lodestar, and VTOL because it has great great potential. Because those score streaks, like for example. I think the VTOL can be up for like 45 seconds to a actually actually I think it's a 60 second score streak if you don't if it's not shot down. The load star is very similar, so those things can really go to town on, on the opposing team, especially if if you have them trapped because those things just kill basically immediately. And now you know there are some trees that get in the way which suck because I I really think for Call of Duty Ghosts obviously they're gonna have you know aerial score streaks or kill streaks or whatever they're gonna be. I think they really need to eliminate. This whole thing with the the trees being able to eliminate the effect of a, a missile, you know, like a shouldn't be shooting a load star, you know, a, a, a huge missile down and having a tree just block it and nothing happen. It's just, it's really stupid in my opinion. It, it makes literally no sense. I know Call of Duty isn't 100% realistic. Actually, I think what they go on is, is it somewhat plausible? Is it, is it believable? Could this happen? Um, but the whole thing, could this happen with a missile, with a tree blocking a missile? No, I, uh, <laughs> no, it couldn't happen. The tree is not even affected by it in this game, so it makes no sense. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the commentary and video, please leave a like rating and subscribe if you haven't already. Twitter link is down in the description. Hope you have a great day. Bye.